guys it's jocelyn welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title i'm going to be doing a try on romwe haul everything i ordered was off of romwe but a lot of things came in shein bags because i believe shein romwe and zaffel are all like sister companies so they share a lot of the same items so if you're wondering why some things are in shein bags that is why so before i get started um i'm going to be doing two different try-ons for each product one is going to be what it is out of the bag and another one is going to be what it looks like on after it's washed because one time i ordered a bunch of stuff off of Romwe and a lot of things shrunk so i sized up in a lot of stuff and i also sized down in a lot of things just based off of the reviews and what the material is made out of so yeah i'm gonna have all my measurements popped up on the screen somewhere just so you know what it'll look like on i'll also list the prices and the size that I got. So yeah, let's just get started. So I'm just gonna start with the bikinis because I was most excited about those. So the first one I got did come in a Shein bag and it's actually a pretty cute bag. It's like a palm tree print. And this was the first one I got. So it came with straps, but you can take the straps off if you want it just to be like a bandeau top. And what I like about it is that the back is crisscross, so you can adjust it if you have like a bigger chest or a smaller chest. So I got this for $6.95 and I got it in a size medium. It's just like this tribal print. I can't wait to try it on. The padding is super thick and I have a little bit of a bigger chest for my body. So I really hope this covers and not have like any under boob or stuff like that. Can't wait to try this on. All right, so this is what the bathing suit top looks like on it's not small i think it's the right size i just think that these straps look a little weird because my chest is a little bit bigger so they kind of make an indent print what's good about this bathing suit is that you can take these off and i think it looks much better that way and so this is what it looks like without the straps i personally like it and then i didn't take the straps off in the back just now but it has this crisscross design like I mentioned, but yeah, I think this shows a little too much on the top, but it doesn't show any under boob. But yeah, the padding's very thick. I really like this top. All right, next thing is another swimsuit. It just came in this bag with an M. Um, I think it's from Romwe. It doesn't say Romwe or Shein or Zaffo on the bag, so I'm guessing it's just from Romwe. And I got a size medium. Here are the bottoms. They look kind of cheeky, but in the pictures, they weren't that bad. And these are a size medium bottoms. The material, it feels like swimsuit material, but a little bit cheaper. Yeah, so those are the bottoms. And then this is the top that went with it. This top feels so nice. The back is also the same like the other one with the crisscross so you can adjust it. But there are no straps so the only way you could wear it is as a bandeau. But this one looks much wider so I think it'll cover more. And also the sides of the bathing suit that go like right here. I don't think it's metal. It kind of feels like metal, but it's very hard so it can keep its shape so it won't fall up and down. And yeah, the padding is super thick. I don't know if you could see that, but it's super, super thick, which I was not expecting. Yeah, it's a very nice material and I'm really excited to try this one on. Okay, so I'm in love with this bathing suit. It doesn't have any straps like the last one I just showed, but it does cover a lot more and it does feel way more secure than the other one. However, the bottoms fit a little too tight. The back is pretty cheeky as well. Even though the bottoms are a little small, I could still pair the top with a pair of white bathing suit bottoms, which I do have, but the bottoms are a little bit small, but I mean, at least the top is amazing. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do, I think, are accessories and other things that I got just to get those out of the way. So I got this banana bucket hat. I don't know why I got it. I think I was just... I... 
I just wanted to get it, you know? So I got this banana bu bucket hat. It came in a Shein bag and it is very nice quality. I got this bucket hat for $4.95. And also I forgot to mention, I got the pink bathing suit for $11.95. But yeah, this bucket hat is very nice quality. It just has yellow bananas. I thought it would be super cute during the summer just to wear on the beach because I don't have any hats. And it's a little deformed, I think, because it was in the packaging and the way it was folded. But once I run it through the wash, hopefully it will get its shape back, I guess, or get some sort of shape that's not like sticking out like that. So yeah, I am very excited about this. And this is nice quality for like five bucks. I don't know if you can feel that, but it's like, or not feel it. <laughs> you can't feel it. I don't know if you can see, but it is just such nice quality. It's a little big, but that's all right. So the next thing that I got, I picked up these stickers. Um, they have a Shein tag on it, so I'm guessing it came from the Shein part. These stickers were originally $3.45, but they're now on sale for $2.87. They're one size, and I think it's 50 pieces. Yeah, 50 pieces of mixed stickers, so I feel like everybody's will be a little bit different. And they come in a little package like this. There are some really cute ones, like this Instax mini one. I'll put a little clip in showing most of them but these are so cute and they're the perfect size some of them are a little weird like i don't think i would use them like this little i don't know what they call it but doctors use it the thing you listen to the heart with but these are super cute i'll probably stick them all over my computer or on a notebook whenever school starts again. Alrighty, the next thing I got were a 19 piece set of rings. These are once again in a little tiny Shein bag. And I got these rings for $3.45 and they come in like this little bag. They're all silver and I'll do a little try on part so y'all can see what they look like on. I think some of these are gonna be too big. This comes with all different ring sizes, so you don't have to worry about having them to be all big or all super small, but this is just one I tried on. This looks like the Pura Vida ring. Why is this not focusing? Anyways, you'll see it in the try on part, but that is super cute. They don't feel super cheap. You can kind of bend them around, but I mean, you get 19 rings for like, what did I say, like three bucks? So I feel like that is pretty good. I don't typically wear rings a lot. I only wear my class ring and this little compass ring from Pure Vita. So I definitely wanted a few like statement rings, I guess you would say. The next thing I got was this, I don't know. It's like a, like a shell, but it's not shells. On the picture, it looked like it was shells, like a puka, puka shell necklace. I think that's what it's called but it's actually stone and once again it came in a Shein thing and the stone necklace was $3.45 hopefully it won't break the metal feels kind of cheap it's kind of big and it looks weird but I mean that's all right it's still really cute I got two more necklaces they both came in Shein bag this first one i got this is a one piece moon and crystal chain layered necklace i got it for 145 and in the color gold and it's just this layered necklace i don't have any layered necklaces that are super nice but there's a little pink stone and a moon it's super cute let me zoom you guys in because i feel like nothing is focusing and y'all can't see what i'm trying on so this is what it looks like on i can't see to clip it but it is super cute it'd be really cute with like a v neck shirt or something like that yeah so i'm super happy i got that and it doesn't feel that cheap the metal kind of feels cheap but the stone is like super smooth and it doesn't feel like it will fall off of the little thing that it's clipped into. So, I mean, that's a good sign. The last necklace I got, once again, has a Shein tag on it. And this is a one piece moon and star charm layer necklace. I got it for $1.45. And this is a layer necklace, but it has three layers. It's all kind of mixed in right now, but let's 
put it on. This does feel cheap compared to the other metal I just had, except this doesn't feel really cheap and it's kind of heavy, but everything else, like the metal feels super cheap. Like it's kind of sticky too. And also this clasp is not clasping. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold it up again, but we have one layer of just a normal choker and then this little tiny thing that has little stars with diamonds and then a moon. So, I mean, layer necklaces are always good and you can never go wrong with them because they add so much to an outfit. Yeah, the last thing that I got that's not clothes related is this fanny pack. I got it because my school that I'm going to is gonna be in Savannah, Georgia and I don't wanna walk around carrying a purse. So I thought a nice little fanny pack will do the job just to carry like my phone and maybe my wallet or something like that. So I got this fanny pack for $4.95. It was always sold out whenever I was looking at it and it had tons of good reviews. So it is just this black with this little tiny detail. It's a rubber detail that says sport and then it has like some really long word right there, but it's nice detail, it has this clip. So you can clip it onto you and it's adjustable, which is great. It has two zippers. It has the front zipper where you can put your phone and stuff. And then it has another zipper, which is a pretty deep pocket. I think this was like one of the best things I've ever bought and it's only for five bucks and usually fanny packs aren't that cheap. So, I mean, I'm excited for this and it's really nice quality. So that is Amazing. Moving on to clothes. Excuse this mess in the background. But moving on to clothes, the first thing that I got was this t-shirt in a size extra large. Like I said, some things shrink in the wash, but I'm not sure what material does make it shrink because a lot of things are made out of spandex, cotton, or polyester. I got this shirt. It doesn't really look like an extra large. It's kind of short. I guess it's meant to be cropped. But this is what the back looks like. On the image, I got this shirt for $6.95. On the image that's on their website or app, it shows this being the front of the shirt. However, the tag is on the back. So I guess this is the front and it says roadway to nowhere. And it has this Western theme on the back. It feels like cotton, but not really. It's like not stretchy at all. I don't know if it says yeah, it doesn't say what it's made out of, but I'm guessing it's like 65% cotton and like the rest polyester or spandex. But yeah, this is an extra large. I have a feeling this is gonna shrink in the wash, but you will see that in, in both of the try-on parts. Okay, so I honestly love the fit of this top. It's not as long as I thought it would be. The sleeves are a little bit awkward. They kind of like flare out, but when I wash it, hopefully, it will have its shape but yeah i really like this shirt and it's very cute with like some athletic shorts which is what i'm wearing right now so yeah i give it like a 9 out of 10. this shirt did not shrink at all i think i don't know if it got shorter or not i usually tell by the text size whether it shrunk or not but I mean, I still think this is like the same size as it was before I washed it. Next, I got this shirt. It is in a runway bag. That's a little bit of a change. Ooh, this is very soft and stretchy. So it's also see-through. <laughs> so I got this orange tie-dye crop shirt for $5.95. It had a lot of good reviews. It's like a halter, I guess. And you tie it like this. I have not tried this on, so I don't know how this is going to work. It looks super big and that it kind of looks like it's going to be loose around my back. But yeah, it's very soft. This might shrink a bunch in the wash actually, but it's very soft. However, it is very see-through, so I might have to wear a bathing suit underneath it or something else. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I mean, it feels very nice and it's very bright. The camera's not picking up how bright it is. Yeah, I can't remember what size I got in that. Let me check real quick. So I got that in a size medium. I honestly should have got a small, but I don't know if it's going to shrink in the wash. So I got a medium to be safe. All right, so here is the top. You, I'm wearing a nude bra right now and you can't see through it that much. But the back is a little bit loose right there. And it kind of feels like super cheapy. 
I don't know, I'm not a fan of the material, but hopefully it will shrink in the wash, like I said. But yeah. So after the wash, this top is still pretty loose. It's kind of the same, except I think it just got a little bit shorter. But other than that, I mean, it feels the same, just maybe a little bit tighter. But yeah, still not see-through at all, so that is a plus. The next thing I got came in a Shein bag, and this is a mock neck snakeskin t-shirt. I got a size medium, and it's originally $6.95. This is very, like, thick, and it feels very nice. Um, I got this mainly, I wouldn't really wear something like this on its own just because it's not my style. I really wanted to wear it underneath t-shirts because the trend that's going around right now is that you wear like long sleeve underneath like graphic t-shirts and it's super cute with like a pair of skinny jeans or something like that. So I wanted to try out that style. It's a little bit of a turtleneck but not that much and it feels very nice. I don't know how this is going to fit. I have kind of short arms. And it looks like it's going to be a little long, but like I said, I don't know if it's going to shrink. As of see-throughness, it's kind of see-through, but I don't know if you'll be able to see like a nude bra or something underneath it since there is a lot of pattern going on. So hopefully we won't be able to see through that, but for what I'm wearing it, I'm going to have a t-shirt over that area anyway, so it's not like I'm worried about anybody seeing my bra. I don't know if I'm impressed with this or if I absolutely hate it. But it's kind of super tight and form-fitting, and I like the way it looks on me. However, it just feels very uncomfortable. It's like super tight in my arms, but the arm length, it's kind of loose at the end, but it does fit my arm length, which is something that I was super worried about. If it shrinks in the wash, I do not know if it will fit me because this is this was super hard to get over my head, but it is very cute to wear. Like I said, with a shirt on top so you can see the sleeves. And I kind of like it. I wonder if it'll look super good with like a black skirt and some heels or something like that. But I give this a 9 out of 10. This did not shrink at all, which is good because it was already a little tight in the chest area. Oh my god. It was already a little tight in the chest area, so... I mean, this is one of my favorites too, just cause it's so flattering on me. The next thing I got came in a runway bag. This shirt was, oh, there's nothing, what? So this bag came without a zippy thing and I don't know how to open it. I guess, I guess I just break the seal like that. That was weird. So I got this shirt in a large. It kind of matches this other shirt I got from Romney a while ago, like the same color. But let's see, this was a size large and I got it for $6.95, but it's now on sale for $5.76. And it just says Newport Beach, California has this cute little sailboat decal. It looks like it's gonna fit me. And it's a size large. Usually I'm a size like small or medium. If this shrinks, then it'll probably be the perfect size because it is a little broad in the shoulders, but it is still very cropped. All right, so this is the Newport Beach one. When I was putting it on, I just realized this, but there's this little thing sticking out. I guess it's to put it on the hanger, but it's like cut and there's like string around it. And I'm afraid to cut it because I don't want it to de-ravel the entire, unravel the entire shirt. But this is the shirt on. I can't remember if I got a large or extra, extra large, I think. Yeah, so I got a large. Good thing I did because it's super cropped. Once it shrinks in the dryer, I feel like it will be more suction to my arms and like right here. But it is super cute. Other than that one little piece right there, I got to figure out what to do with that. But I give this like maybe a 6 out of 10. I can't remember if it was this shirt that I talked about, the broad shoulders, or if it was another one, but I mean, I definitely got the shape back, and I think it did shrink a little bit. I believe this is like a large. Yeah, it's a large. So, this is what it looks like as a large. I don't think it's truly large. It looks kind of like a small or a medium even. I mean, I feel like this is perfect for my body so so this next shirt came in a wrong bag i'm not a fan of this material it it doesn't okay it's stretchy 
but it doesn't feel like cotton at all it almost is like the polyester and the spandex material which they typically use a lot in their clothing but yeah like i said i got an extra large and it still doesn't look that big i wanted a lot of shirts to be oversized but it just has the sun and moon decal and it also has all these zodiac signs Yeah, it has all the zodiac signs around it and it's this charcoal gray t-shirt. I got this for $6.95, but it's on sale for $5.76. So I'm very excited about that. Y'all, I'm absolutely in love with this. It might look kind of weird on camera, but I'm just picturing it with some black ripped jeans. But this is the shirt. It's very nice. It's kind of very long as well. I don't know if this will shrink in the wash or not, but I paired it with the snake alligator skin kind of long sleeve shirt underneath it and i'm just thinking with some like jeans black belt be super cute and edgy see it all over pinterest so yeah i give this like a 10 out of 10 because this is what i was going for like outfit wise so yeah i'm pretty pumped about that Alrighty, this shirt shrunk for sure it um, got a lot shorter and I kind of liked it really oversized, but I mean, this is, I think, is what looks decent on me because I'm so small. It's still flattering and I still like it. I just wish it was a little bit bigger, but hopefully it won't shrink anymore if I wash it again. We're going down to the last few amount of products, finally. So this next thing I'm gonna show you is a skirt. I don't own many skirts. I own like three jean skirts, but nothing like this. <laughs> this is just a cheetah print. You see these skirts all the time, all over Romwe. Um, I got a size small just because I read the reviews and I looked at pictures of people wearing them. And I kind of compared my body to theirs and be like, okay, well, that looks a little big on them. And we have the same waist size. So I size down just to be safe. But it is stretchy, so that is good. It kind of smells like salt and vinegar chips, which I'm not a fan of at all. But this is the cheetah skirt. And I got it for $11.95, but it's on sale for $9.90. Got a size small. The material, it's like a bathing suit material. I mean, you can listen to it. It does not sound very comfortable so hopefully it will be comfortable it's kind of see-through too but like i said with the long sleeve shirt hopefully there's just so much pattern that you won't be able to see my underwear through it but if i have to wear shorts underneath then i have to wear shorts underneath it's not that big of a deal but this is cute and i don't own anything like this so hopefully it will look right on my body here is the skirt i just tucked in my tube top so you can see the skirt a little bit better but it's kind of short in the back. It is very cute. I think the small was the way to go. If I got a medium, I feel like it would be super loose and fall off my waist, as well as being super long, so I think it's the perfect length. I give like a seven out of 10 though, because the material, not my favorite. So this is after I washed everything in the skirt. I don't think the skirt really shrunk much. The next thing I got came in a Shein bag. I am very excited about the shirt because I heard it is very high quality and some of my friends recommended it. So this is the Lettuce Trim Notch Neck Rip Tee and I got it for $5.95 but it's on sale for $4.87. And it's just this ribbed baby blue shirt with this v-neck kind of cutting into it. There's this little stain but I think it's you can't even see it it's like right there i think it's just dirt but i feel like it'll come out in the wash this feels like very nice material and it's not see-through at all really and it feels very light and very soft and comfortable and it doesn't smell like salt and vinegar chips which is amazing because i hate those chips this is by far my favorite top that i tried on it is a little bit cropped but with high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts i feel like this would be super super cute i hope it doesn't shrink in the wash because i think it's just the perfect size right now but you can't even see my bra through it which is always a plus and i really really like this top i think this is one of my favorite things that i have gotten so this shirt I feel like it's the exact same. It might have got a little shorter. I don't know, but everything up here still feels the same. 
which is really good because this is probably my favorite shirt like I mentioned so yeah I really like this and still not see-through nothing faded so it's all good alrighty last two things this one came in a Romwe bag and this is a sheared black tube top I got a size small and it was $6.95 but on sale for $5.76 and it's just this ruffled kind of very stretchy material it is cropped and the bottom is frayed out or a little poofy on the bottom yeah i got a size small they don't even offer a size large or extra large just because this is so stretchy and all the comments were saying like to size down because it stretches so much it is kind of see-through but i'm not too worried because it is like ruffled so hopefully you won't be able to see like a black bra underneath it but it is very cute as is the material the material is not the best it kind of once again feels like that swimsuit material but it's not as spandexy it's more of like a i guess a polyester so hopefully this won't be uncomfortable so this is the top i have my bra strapped kind of like tucked in the sides but it is kind of itchy not the comfortablest material i feel like if I move my arms a lot, I will get some type of rash on the side of my arms. But it is very cute. And I think it complements my skin tone really well. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it is super cute. Uh, even though the material is a little wonky, I do feel like this is one of my favorite tops. And it was pretty cheap. So I give it an 8 out of 10. So this is the top after I washed it and it kind of shortened up a little bit you can't really tell but i feel like it fits better now like i think the like ruffled material kind of like cinched together more so it feels way more secure and it's also kind of more comfortable so yeah the last thing that i got it's in this romwe bag and i'm surprised because this is the only thing that came with an actual romwe tag on it i got a size large because i was thinking that it's gonna shrink in the wash and this is just the graphic print round neck crop tee i got it for 5.95 it's on sale for 541 and it's just this crop black t-shirt with this circle design with like a mountain and it looks super cute hopefully it doesn't shrink much because yeah i got a large but it looks kind of small already so hopefully it won't shrink that much as of see-throughness i could see through it but i mean it's not that bad <laughs> compared to some of the other things that I got. It is a little more crop than I thought it would be. I don't own many crop shirts, so this whole crop thing is kind of new to me. Hopefully it'll grow on me, but this kind of feels like a pajama material. I mean, it's very nice and silky. I think it's like polyester, because that's what it kind of feels like. I give this like an eight out of 10, or like a nine out of 10, but just because it's so soft. I also can't tell if this shirt shrunk. I think it didn't shrink at all, but I mean, fits well and I really like it. Also, why, why do I keep doing thumbs up after every single clip? I am so sorry. Yeah, I wasn't missing anything in any of my orders. I double checked. So that is always a great sign. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and I might do another one of these videos during the summer or right before school starts when I order a bunch of stuff because I have lots of graduation money. <laughs> make sure you subscribe, um, comment down below if y'all have any questions about sizing or prices or anything like that, and I'll make sure to answer those. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. Peace. Darling, you